Hey guys, I want to talk about the latest uh, news story that's making the rounds, and that is about this um, fitness competitor uh, in Australia who passed away, and the news reports have said that she died because she essentially overdosed on protein. Um, that is not true. <laughs> uh, I don't want to underscore how uh, terrible of a thing this is, first of all. Uh, this is this is awful. It's a tragedy, but for lack of a better term, this was an accident. Um, this, this gal's uh, parents are now calling for tighter regulations on protein supplements. First off, tighter regulations on protein supplements would not have saved this poor girl. Um, this girl had, was born, had an inborn error of metabolism. Uh, she had what was called urea cycle um, disorder. And the urea cycle, is basically when you eat protein, uh, what makes protein unique is it's made of amino acids. Amino acids have a nitrogen component to them. That nitrogen um, is, uh, de-am when, when you deaminate an amino acid to free the carbon skeleton for metabolism, um, that nitrogen is then um, forms uh, ammonia. Now ammonia in the blood is very toxic, but your body does not let ammonia build up in the blood. It has urea cycle enzymes that take that ammonia, which is toxic, convert it to urea through a series of reactions, and uh, urea is completely inert. It, there's no harm that urea is gonna do to you. So um, basically, the urea cycle protects you um, from, just like, uh, just like uh, glucose metabolism, insulin protects you from uh, too much blood glucose, which is also toxic. Um, so, the, in this disorder, one of the six enzymes of the urea cycle uh, is either uh, completely uh, doesn't work at all or um, is significantly impaired. In, in her case, the, the fact that she uh, lived as long as she did and is probably just impaired. Um, usually, if somebody has is just completely missing an enzyme, um, they will know within hours of birth uh, just because of the way that the baby um, is going to get very, very sick, very, very quick eating any protein whatsoever. Um, so this poor gal was getting ready for competition, eating a lot of protein, and since her urea cycle was impeded, um, that ammonia built up in her blood and eventually became toxic and killed her. Now, I want to emphasize how rare this disorder is. It's one in every 8,000 people. So this would be like, um somebody having uh, a certain um, uh, allergy to a, a medication and that medication, they have some kind of problem, they're given medication to help that, they have an allergic reaction to that medication because they don't know it and they die. Um, that would be like that person's family um, then saying we need to ban this uh, medication um, because this person died. Um, I cannot imagine what her family is going through, and I do not want to. Um, and and when you are in pain, you tend to find something to latch onto and lash out because you want somebody to blame. That's part of grieving. Um, but um, from a scientific perspective, um, there's first off tighter protein regulations. Um, as far as I can see, would not have saved this gal. Um, if she was eating that high protein intake, you can get that from food. It, 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 protein supplements um, had nothing to do with it because you can get the same amount from food. So um, I, I would say that if you're having any kind of side effects when you take a lot of protein in, when you're eating a lot of protein, if you want to go get your, your tested to see if you have one of these uh, disorders. Um, but for the most part, this is like... Um, never going outside because you get struck by lightning. Um, it's a very, very rare disorder. So, um, my sincere condolences to her family um, and her friends, but 
this is just not something that in, in the news reports that protein um, that protein killed this gal shame on the news stations for um, completely uh, and utterly just disregarding the truth uh, and and just giving in for the chance of a clickbait title and fear mongering. Not that I expect any better from news stations because this is what they do. Uh, this is why I don't watch the news. Uh, I don't turn on the news station because if you would like to get the truth uh, and unbiased, uh, watching the news is about the worst thing you can do. So uh, that's all I got for this, guys. Um, I hope this was useful for you all. Uh, if you like these videos, um, please click like and share, and I will catch you next time.